Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some more Stormworks Build and Rescue. Uh, this is just a quick update of where we are on the drone. It's almost ready. <laughs> it's almost ready. I think I can take that. Yeah, we're still using it. The GPS, uh, it needs a little bit of work. Um, just because of the bearing... The speed, the rudder speed is a bit fast. So I'm just working to, to turn that down. Uh, other than that, uh, the final thing, there's about 10 more things that need to be connected. So all the statistics that we want to read from the drone need to be connected now. I have a microcontroller already set up for that. <laughs> and then it'll be uh, managing managing the radar the missile radar and the object detecting radar yeah and then this drone is going to be ready to go on the warship so i was gonna just talk quick, just briefly about radar and then we'll get into the video so what i made here is a radar controlled gun just to show how radar works so this is static See, so once we go within the range of the static radar, it now picks us up as an active target, and it'll actively track us. So this is going to be uh, when you build, or when you build, when they build warships and stuff, they have they have all these like different lines of defense. So this would be like our final line of defense. I'll probably put these somewhere on the warship, uh, and then that, yeah, that's that. So the next thing we're going to be building. I'm going to start this first. The next thing we're going to be building is a nuclear, uh, nuclear is a, uh, a, a buoy, which is going to have radar on it as well. So if we have up to 20 kilometers, right, we have up to 20 kilometers. Uh, in range. Then what we can do is we could launch a buoy and maybe on top of the buoy there will be like a gimbal camera. I'm not entirely sure. I just I have to... Let me... I was thinking about this yesterday. Alright, this is out to ship and this is read number 7... Eight and nine, which must be some type of statistics, but there's no. Huh, I wonder what I was doing. Something. All right. Uh, so we need a composite. Read no right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven channels. These are all the statistics coming back, all the important statistics coming back, minus the radar. So now, where I was going at with the buoy is that in the example that I showed with the gun, where we have the active radar, if we put radar like that, on a buoy uh, and then we could be within 20 kilometers of the buoy we can tap into the radar of the said buoy and then from the ship wherever we are we can launch missiles and they can get the XY from the buoy and they'll travel to wherever that target is and they should impact that target from wherever we are that's sort of the where we're going with all this. So there's going to be a, a lot of uh, this radio work. Uh, once I get the buoy done, it's going to be complicated kind of like this because it's going to be broadcasting this and that. Uh, but once it's done, it should... Oops, I didn't want to spawn that. Uh, it'll be just like this in that we'll be able to launch it at sea maybe at night. And it'll be able to give us statistics and stuff. It'll be pretty cool. 
I think, anyways, I think the concept is is uh, is neat. All right, now what am I trying to do? I wanted to load uh, this, and I was thinking, um, oh yes, I wanted to. Inputs for laser X, Y. Oh, it only gives us the... Okay. And then what about this one here? What's the composite on that? X, Y, Z for the laser. Target and channels 1, 2, 3 respectively. So three channels, X, Y, Z. All right. So we can use the laser pointer on that camera to give us the X, Y of any of the targets that we spot. Right. So we put that on top of a buoy and it's sitting in the water and you drop it close to an enemy zone and you give it a decent range, four or five kilometers, and you give the missile radar a decent range, four or five kilometers. You can line that up and you should be able to get the... I'm hoping anyways. It's all theory at this point in time because none of it's been tested. But that's the theory. Alright. Uh, so now what we were doing is... Uh, I think the composite's already connected. We need to get all this hooked up. So what do we need? Altitude. And fuel. And we have engine RPS. It's the engine temperature. Engine RPS. Uh, and then linear speed. Battery charge. Oh, and then our GPS X and Y. GPS X, this is what we need for the map. GPS Y, oh no, it's compass. Oh, and then tilt, tilt. I need the tilt sensors because I was thinking I would build a horizon for this. I know it should be So that would be forward tilt. And that would be side tilt. I guess that's all right. So forward tilt. Cool. And that's that. Oh, and then the generator output. Uh, we have room for one more, do we? Let's go 12. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. We're full. We're absolutely full. <coughs> that's this microcontroller. Perfect. All right, now what's next? Uh, then that, okay, so that goes into blue, and then blue receives. There we go. Now I am ready. 
to get the radar. So I guess the first thing we'll probably want to do is This this little monitor down here is what we're going to use for our, we need our radar and we need our compass. Okay, so where does blue, I think it goes into this one here, does it? Blue doesn't go anywhere. Okay, what's this microcontroller? Is this cool? Let's uh, let's use this one here. It's got all the space. So cops it in from drone stats, and there's eleven outputs. Oh boy, so. Let's, we're just going to do this, uh, let's try and do this like one, one at a time. So we need composite read number, uh, two, Ten and eleven. Now we can do this up to thirty two. So this is what I didn't do last time was actually split them and all that. I just tried to merge it all into one composite channel. And yeah, it was it kind of start to turn into a kind of a mess in the end. So now we're going to kind of try and uh, I have to spend more time doing this. Okay, uh, so that's that. So now let's look at the first, let's, let's pick the first four. What's this one here? Let's see. What do we have? Tilt, side, tilt forward, GPS Y, GPS X. Side, forward, Y, X. All right. Uh, side, forward, Y, X. This one here, number, tilt side, and these are all outputs. Number, tilt, tilt forward, so this is for the horizon. Uh, and then this here is our GPS Y. And this one here is our GPS X. And then now we can take this uh, and we can put this on a map. 
All right, so that's the, those first four. Let's update that. Let's do the next four. Uh, which will be compass, engine temp, RPS, and battery. Compass, engine temp, RPS, and battery. Oh, I better... Sorted. Did that. We'll connect them. All right, I forgot what they were. Oh, uh, let's see. Compass, engine temp, RPS, and battery. Compass, engine temp, RPS, and battery. Compass. RPS. Temp. And battery, I'm pretty sure, hopefully. All right, then we'll hook that up. Compass, uh, RPS, temperature, and battery. Who does there? Compass, RPS, temp, battery. All right, let's take a look. Make sure I do that right order. Uh, compass, temp, RPS, battery. Good. Linear speed, fuel, and altitude are the final three. Linear speed, fuel, altitude. So, linear speed, fuel, altitude. Linear speed, fuel, Altitude. All right. Update that. Uh, let's make sure we connect the composite through out from blue. So now the channels are active. So now we need. Horizon. Is this our map to screen? Oh, let me see how I set this up here. The map to screen is, is there. All right. That goes into video goes into here. Yeah, so this one here is where I was getting confused. See, I have number 31 and 32, which is uh, speed and compass. So what I need to do is I need to take the speed and compass and I need to write those on the map to screen instead of here in the radar. And then that way in the compass block, I'll have to make this map to screen a little bit bigger and it can have the inputs for the compass and we'll draw it here instead of drawing it 
with the radar and then that way those inputs aren't being confused because I think that's what's happening. I think it's reading it, but sometimes those inputs are being confused because 31 and 32, the numbers, are also coming off the radar. So that's where I got, I got confused with this. So we're going to correct that in this one. Uh, so I need, I think I just need this. So I can just cut it out of this here. And I want to say that's going to be here. Let's get some space here. And then we need the calculation for the compass. Now the compass is here. That's the radar. See if that it should. And it's giving me an error at line fifteen. This needs to have five channels in it. And then this is going to be channel four. And this is going to be channel five. Like that. Okay, and then now I just need to figure out why it's telling me that it can't do the arithmetic here. doing that because I have to expand the size of this microcontroller by one because I need those two additional inputs and I just don't know which way it's going to expand here. If we do that, yeah, the update is it going to, okay. 
Okay, good. Okay, so we need compass and we need speed. Uh, which... What do we need the speed for? I guess I don't need the speed. Just need the compass. So we can turn this into number four. All right, and then we can change this into four channels. And then we just need one more input, and this is gonna be a number, and this is gonna be compass in from drone. Uh, and we can connect that here. Now this, I don't know what's going on with the Lua. Ten perform arithmetic on a nil value global compass. It's this here. Oh, probably, I probably need that. Is that right? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Oh, I gotta look at the code here. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Do I need the X1 and the Y1? In here as well. X3 and X4 is what we're missing here. X3 and X4. So where is X3 and X4? We're missing this part here. see where we have that wrapped is that wrapped into the tick and it is that part is in the tick end this part is in Giving me error on on the, on the compass itself. Let's see. Okay. Uh, first off, let's connect this. Let's find the compass. Okay. Let's just try and see if that's gonna work. Blue screen to death. I wonder if uh, I have to wrap this. Height equals uh, 96. W equals 96. So 
Yeah, that's not going to work. Yay! I guess that's all I had to do. Attempt to perform speed. Oh, I didn't delete those inputs from here. I better do that. I think it's 31 actually. Also, speed is the radar is the radar <coughs> rotation, which I think is what we need on this one here. Yeah, radar rotation, speed, but we don't need the compass. Is that right? Uh, I'm not too sure. I might have messed it all up now, but that's essentially it. That's the one I need to isolate. Yeah, there, it's now moving. And that compass should be in alignment with this compass here. Uh, let's see, if we zoom out. It's telling us that our compass is in alignment with should be the opposite. Yeah, for some reason the compass is reading as the opposite of what it is. So I just have to figure out the degrees. Because it shouldn't be doing that. It should be... Uh, if we swap that compass input for that one there... You'll see how it's it's that way. North is south. And south is north, I'm pretty sure. So it reads it. It reads it. It just reads it as uh, the opposite. So I think I just need to change the colors around. Because when I turn that on... Yeah, see, it's reading the opposite in this case. So maybe I need to multiply that by minus 1. Let's see here. Um, There we go. Now it's facing in the same direction. Okay, perfect. So there we have our compass. It's got the radar data on it as well. We don't, I don't want the radar data. I just want the compass. So if, and of course the GPS X and Y are gonna come from the drone. So GPS X, And GPS Y. And then, of course, zoom. I'll have to have a keypad here for zoom. Map zoom, uh, and then we'll just make that orange. Sure, why not? Okay, we'll save that. Cool. Now, if we spawn it in, the map is now centered around that. 
And of course, that's running through the radar, which we don't want to do. Um, we just want it to run. into there. Let's see how that looks. Does it have electricity? It does. Oh, screen size. Uh, it's not 96 by 96, it's 32 by 32. And then that means that these are gonna be different. These are gonna have to be like 25. Okay, perfect. So we can update that. Oh, I wonder if it's not set up to turn on. Has no electricity. Now 25 pixels is still quite large. Oh, because we're coming out from the radius. We're coming out from the radius. So we're already starting at, so they gotta be like 12 from the radius. These are 12, so these ought to be like 10. Like that. Perfect. There we go. There's the drone. There's north south. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have our bearing up here, and this is also, uh, and then I'm going to build uh, next. Actually, let's see here. As you can see, you see the compass spinning on it. So now we know the direction. I mean, we have a map, right? But we, we now know the... What I'll do is I'll put a couple, like a crosshair in the center. So that way we know where on the map. It's just easier to, oh, look, I'm gonna crash into the. It's so funny. I don't wanna do that, we don't wanna crash. Cool, and I can just go. Explore and explore and explore, try not to crash. This mountain's pretty high. Whoa. Can check my speed. All that fun stuff, right? Of course, altitude is based on sea level, so I might have to put a laser sensor on it, like see how for our distance. Anyhow, yeah, so there we are. We've flown quite a ways. From the base.
Man, now we're heading north. Oh, and I crashed. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we can take this. Map to screen. Radar, radar all set up differently. So next, we should set up this um, horizon. to do is because I know I'm printing right now I'm printing um, these triangles but I'm going to get rid of the triangles so I'll show you how it looks right now Oops. that's how it looks right now Still in the early in the early state, but I'm gonna get rid of this. We'll keep the line, and that way when you sit in the seat, we'll have the line, but we'll be able to see this in the background, the, the main camera. And then I'm gonna have a blue box around it and that. So that's basically where we're at right now. So yeah, so this is gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. We're continuing on our drone build. This will be done today. Uh, and then, like I say, we'll put this into the warship and then I will look at uh, designing the buoys. That's when we're going to go over radar. We'll put the radar in here, we'll put the radar in the buoy and then we should be fully ready to start working on the warship 100%. That's when we're going to focus on radar at different ranges, short range, medium range and long range and then we're going to have an active system radar, a passive system with radar and we're going to do the same with our guns so it's going to be interesting, but it'll be, this will be like the ultimate destroyer. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.